Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. And today we're gonna be doing a cheap, easy mod. We're gonna plastic dip my rims. So, a little before and after. So, we'll see how this works out. And today I have my buddy Sean helping me out today. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, there's two ways you can do this. You can either leave, leave the rims on and you know, go ahead and clean them off first and do all that good stuff and plastic dip them from there or what we're going to decide to do just to make things a little easier is a little bit longer but a little easier to get the process done is lift the car and take off the rims go ahead and plastic dip them while the rims are off it's a little easier it's honestly recommended and it's a little better that way you don't get any plastic dip around the car on your paint let's we'll see how this turns out so we got sean having some problems lifting the car here, but the car is in the air now. Lift it till your tires are off the ground and go ahead and apply your handbrake, that way your car won't move. So let's go ahead and take off these tires. So once the tire is off, that's so, and wipe the tire down. Go ahead and wipe the rims down. Get them nice and clean. That way the plastic dip really sticks on there. On a side note, my friend managed to leave the jack down there. So now my car is stuck in the air. So getting that down should be interesting and an adventure. It's time to plastic dip the rims. So hard part and the tricky part about these rims is that they are quite edgy, edgy sharp uh, there's a lot of corners so it's gonna be a little tricky but before spring make sure you shake the can well it's uh, recommended that you do go ahead and apply this during warmer weather higher temperatures temperatures are about 90 degrees so it should stick on just fine unless it starts to rain then That'll be a problem. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. So, so first light coat. You wanna cover the pony? No. Light cloth. Okay. So what you wanna do is go ahead and get even strokes. If you do miss a piece, don't go back and redo it. Just keep going because if you go back, there's a chance that uh, it'll end up bubbly and you really don't want that so just nice even strokes try to get it out if you miss a part don't worry go back go ahead and give it a couple of browns don't worry about it you'll cover it up uh, and so again just try not to go back and redo one piece at a time because you will end up having bubbly paint you will and probably cause chipping and then there goes your plastic dip so careful with that just try to get as many even strokes as you can and one other thing is that most a lot of people do use tape for this now just for our purposes and for this video we didn't use tape just because we're a little bit lazy to go go and get tape and we didn't have any on hand so we just go ahead and we just went ahead and did without tape but you, I mean it's it's not a big deal at least not for me it's just it's just a tire so I mean it's not a, it's not really a big deal for me but if it does really bother you and agitate you, then you can go ahead and get some tape and go ahead and wrap it around the tire. That way you won't, you won't get any on it. It is a little difficult with tape just because tape will not stick to the tire. It's, it's difficult. So for this video and this purpose alone, we're going to go ahead and do it without tape. But yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it's, all on, it's all up to you. It's just how you rather do it. But this is just the route we chose to take for this video. So yeah, I mean, so far it's, it's not bad. Two rear tires done. We just finished them. We're finding, finally putting them on the back on the car. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, tighten up the bolts. We didn't plastic dip the bolts just because we wanted. To, I wanted some contrast on my car, and my friend Sean uh, thought the same thing. You know, we should leave it like that. That way. It doesn't look fully blended in, it won't get lost. You want to go ahead and make sure you do get like a good three to four coats in. Uh, not the entire can, three to four coats, really good, heavy, healthy coats. 
don't put too much don't overcoat it or it'll look like plastic like really rubberish, rubberish in the, towards whatever part you overdid so just go ahead and be careful with that just make sure you have some good healthy coats on it that way it won't peel off and it'll, it'll be durable but yeah the the tires are back on the car and this is a little sneak peek of what they look like so back's on and that's the front so yeah makes a difference on the car obviously it looks a little awkward right now but we'll go ahead and get that fixed out when we finish the front too so see you guys in a bit okay so y'all remember the little problem the jack is stuck in there with no way to there's no way to bring it down so we're gonna see how we bring the car down so we can go ahead and work on the front tires so we'll see how this goes uh, but my car is pretty much stuck in the air so my so Sean had this bright idea of using the the little jack that comes with the car originally and trying to trying to pick up the car that way we're able to get this out really quick and then lift it back up so so there's a light 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 drizzle so we're gonna go ahead and move this and put up the windows and go ahead and move in there with a little cardboard box so that way we don't get the the floor painted out but yeah the weather's not cooperating today so we just have to see how we work it out so finished product happy with it uh, the final product was pretty nice and it does give the car an overall different look and now anyone can do this if you time yourself right and you do everything correctly nice and smooth you have no problems give it your nice three to four coats and give it the time to settle down so it'll you know it'll heal it'll take about between an hour to two hour tops it's it's a good easy mod cheap too you can buy the cans at walmart for like five bucks and go ahead and knock this out in an afternoon it's a nice mod and it really adds to the car so as always i hope you like the content like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one